hard to put together. Plus, we don't know exactly what to do, so we just uh, improvise, like everything. Installing uh, all the pipe and electric and everything else to the house and doing all this for uh, a guy that never did it in his life uh, takes a lot of time. Thanks for joining us again in our debt-free house building journey. We are heading to the larger faraway city to pick up parts for our well pitless adapter installation. Everything we are using is for one and a quarter inch poly pipe. Hard to find? Hard to put together. And hard to find pieces? pieces. No, hard to put together. <laughs> Plus, we don't know exactly what to do, so we just uh, improvise, like everything. Hi, so uh, the little fireplace is not really great, not hitting a lot. Anyway, I uh, like your chair. Yes, the chair is amazing. <laughs> oh, I have no chair. Uh, so what I did, I'm trying to to install the pitless today. So uh, this is the the piece of steel that uh, is going to help me to put uh, inside in a well. Uh, the pitless part so I'm gonna do a hole in a casing and I'm gonna install the pitless I'm gonna drop this with the pipe with the T-pipe I have it already didn't put it together the other part but that's okay so uh, that's gonna go here it's gonna drop where I'm gonna make the hole inside in a in a casing of the well that's gonna go inside in a casing. On the other side, I'm gonna install this rubber, and then uh, the other two parts, this and this, and then I can connect actually the poly pipe to to the casing, and then I will remove this part, and here is gonna be the rest of the poly going down to the pump. Uh, it's not complicated I uh, secure so this is going to be secure but also I'm securing this part because I don't want this dropping inside in a well because I will not be able to take it so I'm going to hold it like this till I'm going to be done then I have uh, to make uh, another hole where I'm going to have this uh, bolt is holding I don't remember thousands of pounds of uh, weight that's gonna be to hold a piece of uh, uh, rope that uh, it's gonna secure the pump in case there's something's wrong I can still lift the pump and uh, I got also uh, some uh, magnets this is a regular magnet and this is uh, uh, neodymium magnets which they are better actually and what I'm gonna do uh, making the hole inside in a in a casing, I have two different type of uh, circular uh, saw. I think that's the name. I'm not sure. Uh, and I'm gonna put it inside because I don't want that uh, piece of metal to fall inside in a in a well. It's just better for our well not to have any metal parts or foreign parts other than sand and rocks and dirt on the bottom. I'm gonna start drilling. I'm gonna put this inside, and it's gonna hold the the metal piece, the casing piece that I'm gonna remove it. That way, I will not be worried about 
trying to fish it up from the world, which I will not do it. But I want that metal piece to be back. And that's what's gonna be. Works. So I got uh, I got two different uh, Lenox because uh, when I'm gonna start, I wanna finish the job. I don't wanna stop and order or try to find something else. So they said that they are good to to cut the steel, the casing of the well, and uh, I'm gonna drill it slowly and like I said I'm gonna use the magnet inside for the piece of metal to actually stick it to, to the magnet and uh, hope everything is gonna move uh, smooth and I will be able to finish this part of the job which takes like forever so uh, installing uh, all the pipe and electric and everything else to the house and doing all this for uh, uh, a guy that never did it in his life uh, takes a lot of time. Meet our DUI installation tool. It is crafted from a half inch steel pipe with custom adapter fittings tailored for the one and a quarter inch pitless adapter. We jump to drilling. It is the first time to do this. We don't know what to expect and we are drilling slow. We tried to anticipate all possible issues and all went good. So I just uh, start drilling inside in a casing. And I used three magnets and a smaller piece of ma magnet to hold the, the piece of uh, casing that I'm gonna remove it. Uh, I, would, uh, I was advised to move very slow, so it's a very slow piece uh, going, but uh, I have time, so hopefully I'm gonna do a good job. It took between 25 to 30 minutes to drill into the well casing. No. Ooh, I didn't think so. Like 25 minutes. I don't know. Huh, unexpected. Forever. I was about to stop filming. Oh. Happy. <laughs> this is not. You know, went down, so I'm happy. Good job. That's it. And now I have to pick the pipe. And you can hear. <laughs> Eagle. <laughs> So you can see, actually I, I was surprised because when you cut steel you're gonna have parts and sharp parts and you can cut yourself on the edge. But inside in the casing, this did a great job cutting this piece and actually doesn't feel any sharp really. Little bit here but not really so I'm, I'm really happy with that. That's gonna be a souvenir. I'm yeah. gonna do something with it. Yeah, who knows? Maybe I'm just gonna clean it and uh, put it somewhere to remember that I spent 20 something minutes. I feel like an hour <laughs> drilling, drilling it out of the casing of the well, but something.
And I don't know if the magnets, they did the job or not, but uh, I will say yes, they did. And now I'm going to show you guys how actually looks like. So it's pretty clean. And uh, now I'm going to go and uh, install the pitless. I'm holding this to be sure I'm not going to lose it. I don't really like this ring because you can see it. It's loose. But hopefully I will not lose that. That's going to go inside like that when I drop it down. But first, let's install it. This is sweet spot. Proceeding to install the pitless adapter. For that, we have to fix it to the T tool my husband made earlier. Because the O ring is about to slip, we secure it with the same rope to make sure that it's gonna stay in place without falling into the well. Unfortunately, I cannot redo this. I had a bad angle for the camera. This part wasn't hard at all. We just had to drop the pitless adapter with the makeshift T my husband made earlier and get it out through the hole. Right now, I was holding the T and the rope to make sure that nothing is gonna fall down by accident. While my husband was fixing the other side of the pitless adapter. Okay, we have the pitless adapter in. Yes, we have it in, but it's not yet secure really good. At this moment, we are installing the connector between the water poly pipe and the pitless adapter. We need a special plumbing tape and a protective glue paste. As you can see, my husband has a good attention to the details. Tasty. 
And finally, we're trying to fit in the poly pipe. Michael is using a pipe extender stretching tool to fit inside the connectors. I feel this is better than a blowtorch because after a while the pipe is turning back to its original thickness, ensuring a perfect fit with the connector. Finally, the pipe is connected to the adapter. All it's left is to be secured with the two O-rings that are put in opposite directions. That's it for today. It's already too cold for us to stay any longer outside. It's about 32 Fahrenheit and we had enough. For the rest mm. of our project, you have to follow us in the next mm. video. Right now, we are still looking for a little bit of parts mm. we figure we need. Mm. Mm. By the way, this is not our Figaro, this is a different mule deer that come down with its herd from higher mountain to find shelter and food. And this is the storm coming for us. The next morning we got a little bit of snow but the time I got out it was almost melted because the ground was still warm. We thank you for following our journey a journey in which we are building a debt-free house where we haven't done this before and we are taking our time to do everything right please don't forget to share and subscribe to find more about our journey